welcome, welcome. I'm Kate, and if you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I wanted to tell the balcony, sorry about that last reading. I got you guys a little plant, and I was talking to you competitive. So my athlete side is taking on a little bit of a life. <laughs> I do, I do like to compete. So can you guys help me? What I want to do is somehow break records. I don't know what they are yet because I haven't looked into it. But there was a surprising coincidence between something I saw today and something we did. I just thought that was suspicious. So if anyone knows or how you can help me, if you'd like to support the channel, I would love it, love it, love it. I did get really, well, thank you all, the nice feedback about the memberships. The membership thing, I had no real opinion on it. I have memberships to YouTubers. I don't really think that much of it. I don't to some and I do to some. But I appreciated the positive feedback because, well, yesterday I felt like I made it very clear about the Ethan thing. And the reason it's important to me is because I felt like it was a very much a group collaborative effort, not alone and been totally fine and never told anyone, but that wasn't what the universe had in mind for me. So any way that you guys can think of, I don't know, I don't, I've never really paid that much attention, but I'm about to start. So if there's anything you can think of, or if you have your own channel and XYZ works, throw the girl a bone, please. Thank you for all of the awesome comments. I heard Drip Drop say today that there are plants in the comments, and I just thought that people didn't know how to behave. <laughs> So that's good to know. That was one thing I just thought I really appreciate everyone's just being cool and normal. Everything said here is allegedly for entertainment purposes only. There are no facts here. Please do your own research. Sounds very, I would say, questionable, suspicious, corrupt. I don't have the right words because we're just, I'm just giving you the facts as I have them. And then we're going to look into it. The Chris Watts video, I clipped just the part where I'm talking about Richard Allen a month and a half ago. He looks very ill. This is not okay. And on TikTok and Twitter, I got two comments that wouldn't independently be like, but when you mirror them, I thought it was, I just thought it was a little suspicious. Two people said something like, you don't know what you're talking about. They both said the same thing in different ways. One, you, he probably was sitting at his desk. You could tell his grammar. And the person on TikTok wasn't. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Prisoners have, I think it's either sixth or eighth amendment rights. He has rights as a human. The public should know. This shouldn't be done in the dark. That's the whole reason we're all here. So I found that flag number one. I don't have an opinion. Person with eyeballs. What I have an opinion on is that I don't like the way he looks from when he was arrested till today. That's what I can say confident. We don't know. Don't take sides. So then I thought to myself, that's a little weird that the same kind of comment, assuming that as just a person with eyeballs, I don't like it. And I don't think that it's right. That's the bottom line. That's just my opinion. Thanks for coming. Like that brings us to the next point. We have a judge, Judge Gull, G-U-L-L. -L. The list of items, this is all public information. Like I said, please do your own research. I'm just a girl with a deck of cards, which I need to touch. This woman. I don't even know where to start. The list was literally, I only get my facts in writing from Fox 59 because it's the only news outlet that I feel like has the integrity. And I could be wrong, but so far they've proved me right because they did take them to court, the whole county, and doing this FOIA thing. So that's where all this information from Fox 59 that's the only news source that I'm going to tell you guys right now. But I'm just trying to build a foundation. This is something that's very concerning. I don't even know Richard Allen, and I'm concerned for him. So I don't know what his family feels like. Maybe, I'm, maybe I am the outlier. If I am, then there's a serious problem with humanity, and I really hope I'm not. This woman is assigned out of Allen County to handle this case. Not suspicious at all. Totally normal. She was taken to the Supreme Court during this whole thing. Richard Allen is still getting thinner, and perhaps that wasn't drool on his shirt, but whatever it was, give the man a new shirt. I get it. He's not in the Ritz, but I just feel like two of the articles that I saw said that he was babbling incoherently. 
Is his cognitive function off? This should be concerning to a lot of people. That being said, she got taken to the Supreme Court for hiding, sealing, and not releasing information to the defense. Our Constitution is built on the rights of all. I know, I know, that's a touchy subject. I get it. I know. But at that time, if we put ourselves in that time frame, women really still don't have that. Women and people were property. That's what it was. You sold your daughter. That still happens in societies today. So sketchy. Already sketchy. Why is she still on this case? She's so just putting, just giving you the obvious. Then we had the original defense team. Two defense attorneys were fired by the judge. Oh, so now judges have the, judges are just referees. And that there's a really interesting story behind that. And I would love to get into it one day. But judges don't make decisions about defense attorneys. I'll tell you that there is, if anyone can find me a law anywhere, it doesn't even have to be of this century or last. We're still working off the 17th century for most of our stuff. But I'd like to see where, first of all, like this, if she's an attorney, they, she alleges that these two guys were fired because they had an evidence leak. So now we can say that she sealed information, hid information, didn't give everything to the defense and in evidence. I'm not, I am not taking, I'm not giving this to the defense attorneys yet because so far she has not done anything admirable that I feel like I owe her respect. I don't care. That's just how I feel about this. So then, so she fired attorneys. That is like, no, that's not okay. They took it to the Supreme Court to investigate her. So this is how the Fox 59 media got involved because they, she was denying FOIA requests. She was sealing documents that didn't need to be sealed, or allegedly. This is what the, atten- the defense says. And then keeping evidence from the defense. She had, until today, November 27th, to respond to these allegations or court order. She says that these are all mute. She didn't need to respond. In the meantime... She has fallen sick. She met with the defense team on the the new defense. This is a new team. So these are public defenders, I'm assuming. Actually, I can say they probably are. She met with the new team on October 31st. On November 2nd, she went to the doctor. Okay, so we're dealing with a few days. Since then, she has been working from home. I actually am a huge fan of working from home. But what I find a little bit suspicious is there was one rogue article that, and maybe I'm wrong, but do your own research, please. You guys all have Google. It says that she was in the hospital. Okay, people get sick. I get that. Like, why is it public information? But January 2024, he was, January 8th, 2024, he was supposed to go to court. Miss this woman rescheduled, pushed it back. First of all, these girls, he has been injured the right to a trial. Like every, this should be concerning to a lot more people. Like we have, that's why we say we're innocent until proven guilty. That's why defendants have their own amendments, like protecting them. At the end of the day, everyone still has a heartbeat. Like, and I personally don't think he did it, but that's my own opinion. And the cards back them off. So I'm going to stick to it. So now we have this jo- this trial in October 24, 2024. This is weird. That's pretty much the overview of it. Um, I just think it's weird. And the Supreme Court, I'm, I'm guessing that's the state Supreme Court, want her off the case. Like, what does it take? What? It, and I feel like these states that are really just taking one for the team, because I'm sure if you dug a little deeper into all of our states, there's probably, you know, the same thing. It just happened to be in the headlines. So that being said, um, all right. So the guy that's about maybe make the list tonight, but definitely this gull lady. That's the AG. I don't know if you guys call them district attorneys or attorney generals, but we call them AG. So his name is Nick McLeland is the next guy to look at. And the reason that, excuse me, I am looking at him is because he had a statement in the newspaper along with the same article that um, Yahoo had, that's what I call her, um, saying that Richard Allen was consuming, consuming too many limited resources by trying to move his prison. We just talked about Chris Watts the other night. He's in like 
the Ritz for Jarently, which is probably an okay place for him. So the reason I want to look at this top level right now is because Abby annoys, or sorry, Abby, because Kelsey annoys me. There is like, I listened to, have listened to a few, um, least or interviews, whatever with her. And in one, it was the sneaker one. She like, that's the truth. At least twice that I counted and I just couldn't listen to it anymore because it was like, the first thing we're going to do, I don't know about this whole Kelsey thing. We might get to her, but tonight, and I might get hot. I turned the heat off because to the very kind person who was worried about my hands. I think it's because it's freezing in here and I am sweating. It's this energy. As soon as I started praying and getting ready to protect like the sacred space, get everything going, I started sweating. It's heavy and it makes me um, almost a little short breath. So then I was wondering if that's, we probably don't really know what happened to these guys. Hello, balcony. I hope you can see everything. Using the beginner, like the beginner, I'm going to pull these and then go look and make sure you guys can see. The first thing I want to know about Judge Gall is, I don't even know where to start. I have like nine questions. Okay, so we're going to ask a general reading. Oh, let's see if she's like sick. I'm calling her Judge. I'm going to call her Gall. That's her last name. They didn't print her first name, but I honestly feel like judges hold a respectful position. Um, so I'm going to call Gall. Let's just do a general reading on her. Just check in, see where she is. So we had some jumpers. First jumper that we had was the Four of Cups. Oh, I didn't even cut this. Hold on. That was weird. So the underlying energy is the King of Pentacles. Oh, no. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, okay. So actually, we're going to have a few underlying energies. For the balcony, if you're new here, I don't have a certain number. I don't stick to always pull five or always pull 15. I pull what feels right. And then I let my intuition guide me. So just a heads up. Okay. So the underlying... Well, hold on, actually. Okay. You got my job. I'm looking at here. I will show the balcony. He's <laughs> alive and kicking. And upright. Guess who's not? So if you're new, don't worry. I'm going to explain it all. If you've been here, then you know what that means. Hmm. Oh, great. Okay. The underlying energy higher than in the reverse. The Hierophant in reverse, the Hierophant is always, I always think of King Charles, like the head of a church and Catholic church. It's an, it's like the head of an, of uh, usually organization entity. Um, if it's in reverse, it's also, it's like corruption. I'll just say it. I mean, probably everyone, if you're new, welcome. I am so glad you're here. And I'm sure everyone has their own interpretation of the cards, but the way I'm reading this right now is corruption, which seems like a pretty safe place to go. Then we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. The King of Pentacles, you never want to see your pentacles in reverse, ever. Um, that's like, what I am here, just from the cards, is a breakdown of the good old boy system, and someone didn't get the memo. And I know I've referenced to Carpoolian, and Jim Griffin over at the Murdoch case, but they are also feeling the strain. So this is like greed, stubborn, obsessed, willing to change. Temperance in reverse. Temperance is an angelic card. It's when it's in reverse, it can be an alcoholism. It can be a drug addiction. It can be gluttony, any kind of gluttony, food, shopping. Well, she could be spending money. I, I should have checked her birthday. Uh, I would just say, like, when you just in reverse, if you get it in a regular reading, it can be a healing journey. If you get it with the Hierophant in reverse, who's our main man, these are the, our new hot cowboys in reverse as well, which means... So then we have the star. It can also be a drug addiction card. It's, um, we know this is fire. So fire is your sex organs. Sorry. Um, so maybe this is a health reading, actually. Actually, that would make a lot of sense. So I should probably figure out what that is. A hierophant is an earth sign. Okay, sorry. I, I'm trying to figure out if this is a health reading. Um, you're, okay, so just do it by the suits. Pentacles are earth. So pentacles are bones, anything hard. Like, um, I know that is, that's like sex organs. It's probably circulatory, too. Because it needs electricity, like your heart needs electricity. 
um, cups. That's probably in soft. So like your organs and my missing cups. Oh, she has no swords. Okay. So that's just to keep in mind. I have no idea if it is yet, but I'm just keeping it in mind because now we have the emperor upright. The emperor in our world, in the last case, represented the dark side. And the Hierophant represented the good guys. It's kind of like um, Star Wars, like Vader. Well, that's actually a very nice way to think about it. I thought Darth Vader's voice, the point is, the Emperor in the past, which are having very similar stories, and I'm thinking that's probably why our homeboy is here, or we have to work, or whatever. Well, then we have the uh, our BJ Queen upright. This is your ride or die. She will literally die with your secrets. She's who you want by your side. This is a solid friend, a solid companion. She's your ride or die. She doesn't tell her secrets. She's like the moon. It's like a... Oh, I think it has a moon right on it. It's like the moon, that's the shadow side. It can be the nighttime. It also represents secrets. And then the sun, that's the yin and yang. So she's your ride or die. So we have the ride or die right next to Darth Vader. That's the emperor. Okay. In the last case, and I'm sorry I'm bringing that up, but it's relevant here too, I feel like. This little boy, it's a four of cups. He, oh, sorry guys. He is contemplating, he's sitting outside. But this little cloud, for some reason, has always meant internet to me. Usually swords are internet. I just have always seen this card for the last month and a half as our internet card. So for fire, I know there's people in here who know more about the health part of it. Um, so she had one, two, three, four wand cards right in a row. We have two cups. And one pentacle and the rest are major arcana. So then we have we have a fight. Seven of wands. It's like getting ready to fight, competition. I want to get merch, like make it the coolest so everyone wants it. Um, then we have this of wands. That's the D card right here. I mean, there's probably a way to explain it, but that's the D card to me. Huh. Um, that's a new project. It's a new beginning. Aces are always a new beginning, especially up, well upright. Um, so she's having a hard time. This is like these, just these where you are like, she's having a hard time maintaining control. She's trying to maintain control of a situation that is, she needs to let go of the wheel. Then we have the willpower and the desire, the spark to get the new projects done. If there are other readers who would call this anything but the D card, only give me your witty fun ones. I don't really care. I can read the traditional ones. Then, oh no, oh, D bag, Trash Jr. and this lady all just got. This is like, and this usually is like, if you did a real personal reading and someone got this, it would be a concerning reading. It's like they have witch on their plate. In the archetypes of the people that we happen to be reading on, this to me is a poor me. And I, you can Google as many examples of that as you'd like. Um, then this one, like a speed, something's changing. Something's happening fast. Oh, and she's going right into the queen of cups. She's upright. Okay. I need clarity. This is really only telling me that like she's a train wreck. Hmm. Also following an archetype that we have perpetual victims. So let's get some clarity. Oh, great. So we have the tower. Okay. All right. So just an, a general energy is if this high priestess was in reverse, maybe the higher, or I'm sorry, the emperor wasn't there. It would show me that this is all collapsing. Like the six, you can't, what is that? The three, you know, the wolves house down, the piggy, like the pigs, whatever. When they built their house of sticks, I, I'm, I have a lot of children around. I don't know. She's poor and begging. Well, the archetype. Oh no. Happy home. Oh, she got two in a row. Happy home. Hmm. I don't know this lady. Eight of swords. This, to me, means no free will. But then um, Famous Fortune's got spell casting, And we're not counting spell casting. That's our first sword. Hmm. I don't know. Well, just get a little more clarity. I am going to have to ask more direct questions or we'll be here all night. Okay. So we have, I think she has a drinking problem. I'm just going to say that. We have another cup in reverse. We have another cup in reverse. Temperance and um, which cup? eight cups in reverse to me is like, or maybe she, if she doesn't have a problem yet, she should look at it. We have the world in reverse right next to the Knight of Swords. These are a frat row. But if you watch 
the entire 30 episodes, I would love your feedback or opinion. If you haven't, please hold it until you finish. And for the OGs or anyone else who's seen it, or if you're just like mindful, this is represented in front row and this is always separate represented Ethan. Well, this woman's hands are not clean. And we're going to clear these. I'm going to clear this energy. This woman, I don't know what to say about it yet. Yeah, I don't know. Good enough feeling. I don't like what I see. Because right now, all right, I'm going to ask a specific question. Did Richard Allen have access to all the documents that he needs for his defense? I'm going to just do a quick upright yes, reversals no, five card pull. Oh, I'm not reading this. Upright yes, no, yes, yes, yes. Oh, all right, we're going to do two out of three. We'll give her the benefit of the doubt. That was a yes. Did Richard Allen have access to all of the documents that he needs for his defense? Um, for the balcony? I kind of like that name. We should put you, we should call you guys the box seats. You're in the box. Um, I'm not going to read these, so I'm just going to leave them right here. Two cards jumped, but we're not doing a reading. We're just doing a five card poem. Yes, 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 no, yes. Okay, okay. That's good news. So did Richard Allen have access to the documents that he needed for his defense? The answer is yes. Okay. And because two people, if anyone knows how you can get a job like spreading love on YouTube, I want that job. Um, but I might, be, I might be saying, guys, gosh, man, new cards feel like in the wintertime, putting warm flannel sheets, like fresh, clean sheets, your bed and then going to sleep. And when they're like warm from the dryer, that's what this feels like. So what we're going to ask, I want to look at Richard Allen. I am genuinely concerned about him because I just, I don't really feel like I have, oh, they don't like to be read in reverse. Balcony, um, just so you know, these don't like to be read in reverse. So if they come out in reverse, I'm going to flip them. So is Richard Allen being treated well? I'm just going to do five card pull upright. Yes. Reversals. No. She said we aren't ready to do the old fashioned right away for these. Upright yes, reversals no. Is Richard Allen being treated well? You know what we should do? Thank you all for the prayers for all the people that are praying. I, you have no idea. And I can actually feel it. And as you your prayer practice, you'll start feeling it too. I think we should send a few to Richard Allen. He needs it. And I'm just going to do five cards. Upright yes, reversals no. Is Richard Allen being treated fairly? Well, no, why don't we say well? Like, he deserves to be treated like, I mean, I get jail, prison thing, I get that. But I think what this is also showing us is we have, like, a very broken system. That's my opinion. So, all right, upright yes, reversals no. Yes, 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 no, yes. Hmm. We're going to do yes, two out of three. Richard Allen being treated well. No, 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 no. Whoa. Okay, we're going to read these cards. We just got... Yeah, here, I'll just show you what we got. We just got... Any, they're all in reverse. Yeah. The wheel, El Diablo, the lovers, and the sun. This is not a soft yes or no. This is a hard no. Like, well, the first you see is death. The wheel in Ethan's world was death. Well, El Diablo speaks for himself. The lovers in reverse is always like crouched. No, it's not always crouched. It's not, it's, if you saw a married couple with this, you would ask them how their communication is going. And we have the sun in reverse. That's nighttime. So I feel like it's criminal what's happening to him. And apparently, so do the cards. It's really sad. That actually really upset me. I didn't even realize it was going to upset me. Poor guy. All right, so we are going to go back to the douche. Judge Gull. Let's just do a quick reading on her. I wasn't in a very good mood when I started. Sorry about that. I was just like kind of like I was doing something for an article for that, um, the finishing the Ethan thing. And I Googled Ethan's name and like the first video up was like his, his, his mother. And then the next one was about his brother. So I just didn't use any of them because I didn't need them. I used something else. I just, so anyway, I don't know. Sorry. I was in a little bit of a grumpy mood, but I, um, plus so autistic children, this is part of the light language. You're not going to read this probably in a book. 
because I'm guessing. This is something intuitive. If it doesn't feel right, then just leave it. If it feels right, then take it with you. Autistic children are here. This is my understanding from my source that they're here to raise the consciousness. This is, goes back to the animals in the field that intuitively know. Autistic children cannot communicate with their mouths allegedly. Like, I don't have my child. I am just saying what I have heard from the source that they're here to raise consciousness because they don't communicate the same way that we do or that third dimension matrix humans do. Now, as they're being born, there's a, I'm sure if you look at after World War II, I'm just going to tell you, after World War II, when we dropped the atomic bomb, I'm not going to on the atomic bombs, both of them, the Earth sent out an SOS to the whole galaxy. Like, the, we, I need help. This is not good. What these guys are doing is, like, not good. And so because free will in our part of being on Earth is you sign up for this because it's free will. And look at how well we've done. We have things like Richard Allen and no one thinks it's weird. That's not normal. Um, they can't come in and help. That's why if you're getting help and you're not asking for it, it's not of the white slate. And I'll just tell you that right now. The white light cannot help. It's part of our contract with the earth. So the earth is a living thing. Everyone knows that. After World War II. So what we started getting, it's called the first wave of volunteers. Anyone who's read Dolores Cannon, this is the first wave of volunteers. So that's the kids born like my parents' generation. Oh, boomers. Like her dad was in the war. They were here to start. What they figured out was they have to break it from the inside. So the first round of boomers, I don't. Well, they were brave because they were the first round. Someone had to come and break the system. Then you have the next round. That's when like ADD starts getting introduced. Um, what are the other, like any disorder? And I'm putting very loosely because, well, that goes back. You can check this out too. This is a historical, is it the Rockefellers? Whoever is the banking system family. It feels like that's the right name. They wrote like that, that the only reason we have a schooling system and a prison, they're very similar, is because they needed workers who could sit and read and write. And that's all you're taught to do. You're not taught to think critically or think outside the box because that's not what the structure was built for. And this is not an opinion. You can read your, I mean, you form your own opinions. Plenty of books about it. Dolores Cannon is a great place to start. If you are, if this is all very new to you, then please just keep an open mind. If it doesn't feel right, then don't worry about it. Just leave it at the door. If it's resonating with you, then Dolores Cannon, she's an, Actually, I did her core, or I'm certified in um, quantum, it's QHHT healing hypnosis therapy. And that's one of the techniques that I, so anyway, she was a teacher of mine. She doesn't know me, she's since passed, but RIP. Um, so then you have the kids, so you have like ADD and all these learning disorders. All learning disorders, we're not supposed to sit down for eight hours ever. We're hunter and gatherers. We're supposed to be like out running around, having fun. And then um, the next round, these I think they're called the blue star children or someone will know. The rainbow children? I can't remember. They are here with like autism or other things. What is it? Breaks our system. So unfortunately for people like, I'll use Richard Allen, he is, a, you can see him. And if you think that he looks good or he's okay, then I think you really should perhaps take a few moments and think where your humanity went. It is, in my personal opinion, this is not right. That being said, the autistic children are here to teach us to start intuitively communicating because hopefully if we can get our heads out of the ass, we can start ascending. We're not supposed to be the same that we've always been. Like even in your own life in a year, I mean, if you want to be the same or last year at this time, or just think about when you were in high school. Are you the same person? And if you are, then maybe daily journaling or something because you want to evolve. That's the whole point of like the energy. The universe doesn't understand English. It speaks in energy because it's all in energy. So that autistic thing came up because I saw that comment and I can back it up with facts. So there's no arguing. There's no opinion. I don't No one needs to hear anyone's opinion. If you, would, you know, we're working here. What do we know about this woman? I almost feel like I should just start this all over and start with Kelsey Trash Bucket. 
go. Maybe it's just to get her on our radar. She's on the whiteboard. If you guys ever want to see the whiteboard, I can take a picture of it or you know, can walk over to it. Um, but I need, what do we know about her? Hey, Balcony, don't forget these guys are only three red and rivers. Well, she has someone around her who's much smarter than her. She's just a pawn. Or she's just a puppet. Only the emperor's here. And the hermit. Yeah, she's just a pawn in a, a bigger picture. So we have had actually onions a lot lately. Well, clearly the Ethan thing. And I saw that Chris Rock, or uh, Chris Rock, um, Chris Watts thing. And that's enough too. So she's just a puppet in a, mo in a hierarchy. Uh, what's around her though? It's like the emperor, the hermit. The hermits are smart. He's our sage. He's lighting, bringing light into the darkness. We have the wheel of fortune. Just spun the wheel. Knight of spears and the star. I'm going to keep this in reverse for now. Star is out. I wonder if she has blood on her hands. Dang, man. Yeah, that's like very literal. I would say she does. This is in reverse. Or this is up. We have the chariot. We have death. That's in reverse, so that's nice. You have a page. Remember our page? They, they were the frat boys running back and forth. And I rewatched that Who's Pregnant video. That was, that's a good place to reference pages. I don't know. I mean, this, this is all starting the same. Literally, we have the emperor. We have the wheel of fortune. We have the hermit. Okay, wait, I'll explain them. We have King here. If you saw last case, this will make sense. If you didn't, then this won't make sense. Well, we have the emperor. Trash senior. We have the Wheel of Fortune, Ethan. We have the Hermit. That was rotating. But it was always someone smarter until, well. And then when the Dilling Queen got it, it was always in reverse. It's a good one. Um, the Knight of Spears. Oh, that's the Knight of Wands. That's Frat Row. The Star in reverse. That's the Emperor, Trash Mom. The Hangman. I can't remember if that, w whether it was upright or reversed. The Hangman to me. I know there's like a lot of nice, happy things, but it's getting a new perspective. To me, it's very literal, especially dealing with low moral compasses. Then we have the chariot. That's the getaway card. Then we have the page of coins. The pages are the runners and they do it for money. And oh, we don't have any contract cards on here. Death in reverse. That means no change. Nothing is going to change. Death does not mean death. Death means change. And so if it's in reverse, that means no change. Then we have the page of swords in reverse. Look at this page. You guys, I hope the balcony can see it. It's pretty intense. He was in reverse. And then we have the knight of swords in reverse. This is starting off just like... So, I mean, right now, it's like the boy system that's worked for a couple hundred years or a thousand years. I have no idea how long it's been in place, but handshake and hug. None of her cards are not upright. I mean, this is just saying she's in a bigger picture. She's like a... I wonder. Oh, all right. Oh, we have Nazi. And it really, oh, I did. I'll explain this. We have our Nazi. He just jumped. I just want to see if she got paid off. Did she get, or like bought off or whatever? Did she paid off? Well, I would call it like she's on someone's payroll. You can't be judge and be like seven or 60 or 70 and just happened to forget that there are standards you're supposed to hold yourself to. It's been going on for years. If she does, we don't. Um, is she on the payroll? Is she on the emperor's payroll? Well, that's a yes. And this is our party hardy. Yeah, of course she is. I mean, let me just, ex oh, so I some research on the, I'll tell you about it in a second when I read it directly from my, so it's called Vinlander's Social Club. Remember, I was just talking about social clubs. It was called Vinlander's Social Club. They identify as Odinists. It is a racist skinhead group founded in the mid 2000s in Indiana. So this Nazi thing, you nailed it. Whoever made that comment. Oh, this was the wrong, uh, different case, but still, um, I know that it was like a little bit off, but I thought your idea or your gut feeling of the origin was right on. Because now I still see this as a Nazi card and I was going to put a PowerPoint together for you guys so we could all learn it together. But then I got busy. But that's what is. So it was called. Oh, and in like um, pagans, I'll call them pagans, two separate things are very much again. I mean, we say they say like whoever mode be that's as above. So below they say marry me instead of like good morning because English is a on words. 
mourning, you mourn something. So it's a trained way to like always be stuck in my experience. And so you say, marry me, or you say, um, as above, so below, so mode be, because you don't, words are spells. You don't want to cast spells like good morning, morning, you're mourning someone. So you're good at morning. That's just a thing. But I know there's another girl or one of our G's um, who fought, who knows this stuff. Anyway, that I thought was a very good um, little lesson. I was putting a little PowerPoint for us, but then I got busy trying to quit my, quit my job and say, support me. <laughs> so anyway, I mean, I don't know. What do we know about her? She's a tough comeback. She is a puppet. She's getting paid. She's in somebody's back pocket and we're not even, if we could, maybe what we should do is, well, like, <laughs> that's not how this works. We don't drive this bus. So she's a scumbag. I mean, I don't know what else to say. There's not really, any, there were no nice ways to describe her. She's not smart or she's just mediocre. Probably daddy got her in. Yada, yada. All right. I will love you and leave you. Oh, and balcony. Oh, I should have a little thing like a love token or something for you guys. Thank you for coming. Oh, I hope you like the plant. Oh, and thanks for noticing I switched the um, setup. So uh, I will love you and leave you. I think we have to dig back into suspect number one. And that's with that, I will say goodnight. <laughs>